say, oh, praises be to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rukam Kudash, double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone, and shalom to the sins of the elect, teaching us truth and faith and sincerity through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rukam Kudash. Look, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, we'll be going to read Psalms 20, 20, uh, seven, man. Right? Psalms 27. And this, this chapter, like, this chapter stirred up my spirit in righteousness, man. And if you read this chapter, man, this chapter is a faith booster. This chapter is a faith booster. And what I was really observing and thinking about, because I was um, thinking about um, the um, story of the um, seven brothers, man, who were persecuted in a in the uh, Maccabees, man, right? And that fact that when you read their, their story and you observe their persecution and the stuff that they had to endure, it was heavy, man. It was really, really heavy. And the point and aspect I'm speaking about is this. So when you actually observe them, right, they went through grievous temptations and, and trials, they were tortured, they had their tongues cut out of their mouth, they had their, their actual rod cut off, they got fried in a pan of oil, there was even one out of them that was so strengthened in the spirit that he stuck out his tongue, he stuck out his tongue and told them, you can chop my tongue off, he, he, he stuck out his tongue and his hands, right? He stuck it out and said, look, I'm ready to go. I'm, re I'm ready to die, right? And, and you even had um, one who was so strong in the spirit that he didn't regard his pains. So as he was getting fried in the oil, as he was getting mangled and maimed, he didn't, he, 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 he didn't even make a sound. And I was observing it in the spirit, I, and I was thinking to myself, how can you endure that? Not in an aspect of doubt, but just actually just sincerely thinking and thinking about, how, how, like how can you, in this weak flesh, endure that? Because when you observe our, our flesh, as the scripture says, this flesh is weak. If it was up to this flesh, we just sit at home all day, eat carbs, and, and get head, and just chill, you know, just chill, just, just chill, right, so this flesh by its nature is programmed to just chill, but they were strengthened in the spirit to endure all those diverse temptations, man, right, so without further ado, let's read Psalms 27, right, because the time and periods that we're about to come into, we know that the Lord is going to be how we're going to endure. The Lord is going to be how, look, we are going to endure through the strength and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. That's how we're going to make it, man. The Lord is going to make us endure. The Lord is going to make us endure. We are not going to endure by our own strength. The Lord is going to make us endure, man. I'm going to read Psalms 27. The Lord is my light. And my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of, of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? So the strength and power that the elect are going to have for their lives in a time of trouble. To endure unto death or to be saved in, in, in a time of trouble in front of Esau. Right? The Lord is going to be the strength of our life. So the strength of our life is Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, man. He's the strength of our life. So his spirit is going to be in us. His spirit is going to be in us to make us endure. Right? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes came up uh, upon me to eat me up. <laughs> right? To eat me up. My flesh, they stumbled and fell, man. They stumbled and fell. In a time of trouble, that's, that's about to come, of course. We're going to go through the fire, but we're going to come out the fire ref 
defiant, man. And we're going to be made a new sharp, frustrating instrument in the face of Esau, man. We're going to get that power, man. All right? Though and host should encamp against me. And that's what's about to happen, man. When Esau, when he comes in as a flood, they're going to encamp around us, man. You might be at home at night and ten troops are breaking your house with, 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 with a, in, 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 in mask with, with some tear gas, right? Pepper spray and bound you up, man. But guess what? Though a whole should account against me, my heart shall not fear, man. That's why the scripture says, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, the strength of salvation. Because you know why? The wisdom and knowledge is what's going to keep you stable. Right? So when it says, though and whole should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear, though war should rise up against me, in this I will be confident, man. Confident. The Lord is going to give us confidence, man. Yo, let me read that again. All right? Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise up against me, in this will I be confident, man. The Lord's going to make us confident, man. Because cause Daniel, when he was alive, then was confident. Shadrach, Meshach, and, Ab Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, my favorite story in the scriptures, they were confident, man. These seven brothers in Maccabees, they were confident, man. Right? They were all confident. You know why? Why were they confident? The Lord strengthened their spirits, man. The Lord is going to strengthen our spirits, bro. Because this carnal flesh is weak. What's going to get us through this is the Lord is going to actually strengthen our spirits, bro. The word he left, the Lord is going to put his spirit in us to endure no matter what. It says... One thing I have desired of the Lord that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. And we're dwelling in the house of the Lord now in this truth. Because this truth is the house of the Lord, which is that temple. Right? To behold the beauty of the Lord and inquire in his temple. And what is the beauty of the Lord? The beauty of the Lord is his wisdom. Because wisdom is compared to a woman. And she's, she's beautiful. This truth is beautiful, man. Right? For in a time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. So we're going to be protected, right? So let me actually look up the word um, pavilion, right? Let me go to Psalms 20, um, 20, 27 and type in the word pavilion, right? Let me get it, man. I'm, I'm just excited, man, because... This, this this just strengthened my spirit, man. This, man, I was reading this, and, and I have to say through the spirit, this, this is a must read, man. You know, of course, we, you know, we seek and strive to read the whole Bible. But but, but if you're feeling low, you got to read Psalms 27, man. Right? So this is Psalms 27 and 5 for the word pavilion. Right? The word pavilion, right, um, 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 is, uh, is, let me, let me play that out loud. Strong. Strong's age, 5520. Soch. Soch. Right? And it means stick it, layer, covert booth. Right? So, so, so. And, and and also it says tabernacle, man, right? So it's like, hey, man, so what does it say? It says, for in a time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion, his booth, his tabernacle, right? Well, we're here, which is for the spirits, it's them chariots, man, right? It says, in the secret in the secret of his, his tabernacle shall he hide me. He, he shall set me upon a rock. And 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 uh, that 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 rock is who? How was shy, right? Who 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 the scriptures said he, he um, came up on a, a great 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 mountain and 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 and, and f flew up upon it, which is that rock, right? And now 
shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me because we're going to get that spiritual power therefore will I offer in his tabernacle the, the sacrifice of joy which is what we're doing now our prayers our psalms our, our, our work is sacrifice unto the Lord right as the scripture says you know um, um, uh, being a, like a like a living sacrifice unto the Lord I, I will sing yea I will sing praise unto the Lord here O Lord here now here verse 7 he's saying it's with confidence and not pride here O Lord when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me and answer me, man. So he's like, Lord, hear me and answer me, man. And he ain't saying that with pride. He's saying that with confidence, man. So, so that's a good prayer to trans translate into Hebrew. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me and answer me. When thou saidest, seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, that thy face, Lord, will I seek, right? And it's spiritual because, the, the, as the Apostle Gabar explained, the face of the Lord applies unto this truth. That's why Esau, as a people, is, 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 is hid from the face of the Lord, man, because he can't get this truth. But he said, when thou saidest, seek ye my face, so, so that's his, his calling unto the elect to seek his face, which is his truth. Mm -hmm. my, my, my heart said unto thee, thy face, O Lord, will I seek because the, the Lord put the spirit upon us to, to, to be drawn unto this word which is Sophia which is wisdom which is a woman right hide not thy face from me put not thy servant away in, in, in anger so that's the precept to Psalm 51 hide um, hide, hide that face from my sins and take not that no cast me not away from uh, cast me not away and take not that Holy Spirit you know uh, 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 away from me Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then will the Lord take me up. Because that's what's going to happen. You know, uh, uh, in Matthew 10, our, fa our fathers, our mothers, people coming against us, guess what? The Lord's going to be with us. The Lord's going to take care of us, man. Right? Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in the plain path because of my... Um, um, teach me thy way, O Lord, which is the truth. And lead me in the plain path, which is the truth, because of my enemies. Deliver me not over unto the will of 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 my enemies, which those who who, who are the left are not going to be in that position. For false witnesses are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. And that's what's going to happen at a time of trouble. Right, the scripture speaks about you know uh, men betraying each other. You know that uh, a man's fall shall be there of his own household. I have fainted unless I had be be believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living and through the Spirit. We ain't gonna faint because the scripture says, "If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small." But guess what? Those who have the elect, our faith ain't gonna be small because the Lord is gonna strengthen us. And here's the proof to that. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say on the Lord. Let me read that again. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say on the Lord. And guess what? That's what we're going to do. The Lord's going to put the Spirit upon us to make us wait. So pray for strength, man. Pray for the Lord to strengthen our spirits. Because it don't matter what we're going to experience. Look. We believe that the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, is going to put the Spirit on us all if we're the elect to endure anything. Anything. So with that, I'm going to say all praises be to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashem, Makakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Moonstone. And shalom to the sincere elect. Lord willing, you brothers will be being all edified, stay in the Spirit. And we're moving on.